Well, hello, buddy. Old Time Hockey, better known as Fritz, is a gentleman who lives in a little cabin in the middle of a cedar swamp next to a creek in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. He is active on many social platforms including YouTube, Instagram, and most prominently, TikTok. His life consists of fishing, hiking, camping, cooking, and producing videos and photos for the social media apps mentioned before. In almost every one of Fritz's videos is his loyal companion, Donnybrook, his Australian Shepherd. I, like many other people, scroll through TikTok for endless amounts of time, and occasionally, Old Time Hockey's videos would show up, and they were always a breath of fresh air, always changed how you were feeling in that moment. It made you calm, it made you relaxed, and it made you feel happy. So today, we're going to be turning Fritz into a Dungeons & Dragons NPC. So please, come along with us, crack a cold pop, and please, enjoy yourself. Before we get into the stat block, I just want to reaffirm that Fritz is an NPC. He is not an adventurer. He likes to live a very calm, relaxed lifestyle in his cedar swamp with Donnybrook. He's not afraid of traveling outside his door. In fact, he welcomes it. But he is not an adventurer going off and fighting off monsters and saving the day. So therefore, Fritz, the medium humanoid with lawful good alignment, has an armor class of 12 and hit points of 13. His speed is 30 feet, as an average human. He has a climbing speed of 15 feet, as can be seen in many of his Instagram and TikTok posts. The man does enjoy climbing trees. And a swim speed of 20 feet, because even in the dead of winter, Fritz still likes to take a plunge. He has a strength of 12, dex 14, con 15, intelligence 10, wisdom 10, and 18 in charisma. The 18 in Charisma, I believe, is self-explanatory. The 12 in Strength, because he is an outdoorsy fellow, so he has to be good at hauling his backpack around, plus all his gear. And the 14 in Dex, because... well... Holy wah. For skills, he has an Animal Handling of plus 4, a Nature of plus 2, and Survival of plus 2. He is resistant to cold damage because... well... Passive Perception of 10, speaks and understands common. For his abilities, we're starting with Terrain Explorer. When Fritz makes an intelligence or wisdom check related to his favorite terrain, Cedar Swamp, he does so at advantage. Difficult terrain doesn't slow Fritz or any of his allies travel. And then we move on to Donnybrook. As long as Fritz's companion Donnybrook is within 15 feet of Fritz, both Fritz and Donnybrook are immune to the Frightened Condition, and Fritz's passive perception is increased by two, turning his overall passive perception to 12. And for his final ability, a cold pop. As an action, Fritz can enjoy a nice cold pop of Venor and regain 1d4 missing hit points. If this would take him past full HP, the remaining instead goes into his temporary hit points. If this pop is shared with an ally of Fritz, the roll is instead treated as a d8 for both creatures. Because as much as Fritz does enjoy his cold pop, I think he enjoys sharing them with his friends more. And as an action, Fritz has a Twig Slapshot, which is a melee weapon attack with plus two to hit, reach five feet, one target, hit two or 1d4 bludgeoning damage. Fritz does show his gun rack in his videos with his two favorite twigs, so I believe he's very proficient using them. And after watching this video, I'm quite certain of that fact. To go along with this stat block, I've also made a miniature for Fritz. Here he is traversing the wilderness with his trusty paddle. Unfortunately, Hero Forge does not have a goalie stick that I could use in place of a paddle, along with one of his favorite ducks behind him watching his back, and a nice cold pop offered out to you in kindness. As well, unfortunately, Hero Forge does not allow you to have a dog pet, so instead, Fritz is going to be riding Donnybrook, just for the sake of making a model of it. I recommend if you're looking to add Fritz into your D&D campaign, or any type of role-playing campaign, I recommend Fritz live in the middle of a cedar swamp, or you can choose any kind of terrain by himself with Donnybrook. And if your adventurers ever come across him, I think he would be very eager to share some of his home-cooked meals and a nice cold pop, and maybe sit down and watch the campfire. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll let Fritz end this video for us. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and please enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm.